What's going on, everybody? I just want to come to you today and just give you this encouragement of word of Proverbs chapter 5, verse 21. This is what it says. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It says, For the ways of a man are directly before the eyes of the Lord, and he carefully watches all of his steps. I want to say that again. For the ways of a man are directly before the eyes of the Lord. And he carefully watches all of his past. So, um, just to briefly just go through that, I think it is just an encouraging uh, verse in Scripture that we can attest to every single day of our life. So, ways of a man, I before that, I said, oh, whatever a man does, whatever he thinks, whatever he uh, perceives in his thought, or whatever he does, our action that he displays, or emotion, or the uh, anything that he does, both uh, physically or naturally, the Bible says that it is directly before the eyes of the Lord. So God is saying, I mean, God is basically saying that He sees everything, and it gives us this caution within ourselves that we need to be careful the way that we approach people, the way that we do certain things, the way that we act before others, the way that we demonstrate ourselves. If we are that type of person that wants attention or attraction, we need to look into ourselves and to see, is this what God wants me to do or is this what I want to do? Because many of the times, um, we, in this generation, uh, we are more of a self-pleasing generation today. Uh, we are looking at uh, what pleases me, or what, I, or what, what attention can I give to myself rather than giving more attention to God, rather than pleasing the Almighty, pleasing God. And so, um, I just want us to reflect that on those verses today, because I think it's necessary to understand that God sees everything, and He wants to see everything because He wants to make sure that you're going in the right path. God is loving, God is caring. That's why He is checking, He's watching over each and every one of us today. And he wants us to know that he is there for us and that he has a plan in the future for our lives. And that we need to trust him. We need to put our faith in him, put be more dependent on him so that he can assist us, so he can strengthen us, and so he can empower us to be the person that he wants us to be. Right? And that he says he carefully, and that's the Bible says that he carefully watches all of his path. God carefully examines each and every one of us. That's why sometimes when we sin, uh, we get convicted immediately because God wants us to know that sin is what separates from God. And that's why Jesus Christ came to this world. He died on that cross because sin was for separating humans, for separating man and God. And Jesus came and he took all that sin on Calvary's cross so that you and I could live and dwell with him forever and we could have a relationship with God. So this is the purpose of why uh, he says that he carefully watches all our paths. God wants us to be for him. God wants us to be strongly, um, uh, boldly, be a bold witness for him. And so I just want you guys to encourage you guys to do this today. That just reflect on that today. The verse says that the wisdom man are directly before the eyes of the Lord and he carefully watches all of his past. So God's the best with us today. Be just reflect on those verses and let God speak to you individually. God bless you, darling.